planning people welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing you all a plan with me i am using the kit from ice cream joe don't remember the name but this kit is super cute and i chose this kit for this week of july 26 to august 1st because it was my mom's birthday on july 31st so she's all into astrology not astrology wait astronomy the one with the space <laughs> she into that so uh yes yeah, so i was like i want to use this kit for her and i just thought it came out super cute you guys it's so pretty really love this kit the colors are popping it's just popping so if you really like this kit i definitely recommend it because it's lit so i pulled in an astronaut helmet from the kit which i really love that thought is another way of having an extra box y'all know we like those giving girls strong boxes all the different type of layering boxes but this was super cute for this kit i pulled that in with a sticker from marge goodies to mark that i got happy mail from marge goodies print pression letters to apollo and excuse creations so that was a super lit happy mail day you know we love a good happy mail day so then i pulled in a popcorn sticker to mark that we watched peter pan so boo wanted to have a movie night and she picked peter pan and this was the original cartoon peter pan you guys and i don't like peter pan like he was rude as hell to the little girl i can't think of her name right now but i did not like him and i'm just like he's really um what's the word a misogynist <laughs> um he was horrible and i'll never forget the scene where he was out there with them damn mermaids and the mermaids were basically trying to jump the girl and he just laughed about it. And they was like, you know, we weren't going to let you drown. Or, girl, it was a lot. And I was like, no. So, yeah, we're never going to watch that again. But, yeah, so we watched Peter Pan. And then I used a sticker from Sticky Perks with a camera from Sticky Perks as well with a script from Scribble Prince Co. that says film to mark that I filmed and I thought it was really cute. And as you can see, I started pulling in a little deco here just to take up some space. I was trying to be a little different. Um, you'll see though, I did like a lot because I didn't write down nothing for this week. So anyway, I ended up pulling in a box from Indian Ivy Inc. with a doll from Paper Dolls and i did like some little layering stuff with the kit elements and i used that to mark that i picked my giveaway winners for my two pocket planners that i was giving away and both those girls responded to those um notifications quickly so i did get those out to them so that was super cute and then i came down and used a circle box from indian ivy ink with a scallop from i think that's miss me Al. Yeah, I'm going to go with Miss Meow. Maybe the Giving Girl. I'm going to go with Miss Meow, though. And I used that to mark that I had an impromptu live. And I used a little camera from Paper and Milk to notate that. So I'm trying to do a little type of layering just to give it a little jazzy up. You know, especially when you don't have nothing going on. You got to just jazz it up a little bit, y'all. Just layer a couple boxes, even though it ain't nothing but two words going in the box use them boxes girl so then on wednesday i had a little lot going on because i was trying to figure out how i wanted to space everything because i only was going to be marking two things so i go back and forth about where i want to place these things but i do place that this cute layering thing from paper dolls deco paper and bits doll who else was it i believe that might have been miss me al just a whole lot a whole lot of and i used that to mark that i had got some happy mail for meanie's planner goods and i just thought that was so cute to mark that then i came down and used a paper bits little couple sticker to mark that dad, dad came home and so i just 
I did a lot of work around around this area, y'all. So I pulled in that doll because I knew I didn't have a lot going on that day. So I wanted wanted to just take up some space. So I moved this doll or put this doll down and I did a lot of maneuvering of my stickers just to fill it up and just make it look good. I really loved how I ended up doing it. Yeah, that was just a whole lot of, but I felt like this whole little section was so good. I was really proud of myself for like thinking outside the box. You know, you don't always have to put your boxes in your boxes. <laughs> so I really liked how I did that. So yeah, I play around with that a lot. And, um, but I really do think it ends up coming out pretty good. So I wasn't mad about that. So then on Thursday, I got some happy mail from Paper Bits, which obviously I was feeling it because it's all up through this spread. But I got some happy mail from them and I used a Bubble Bear Studio sticker to mark that. What I also started doing with the boxes in this kit was I used the headers because I don't use a lot of headers. So I used the headers to kind of make like a decorative box kind of. And I thought it was really cute. I don't know if I do it right here, but I come back and do it eventually. All right, so then I pulled in a paper and milk sticker to mark that I did a PO run, which was probably the giveaway. So I marked that. And then I used a sticker from Wonton in a Million with two boxes that I combined from the kit to mark that we had open house with the school. And so that was on Zoom. And then I did have to go up to the school and pay for Campus Kids, which is an after school program. So I did have to um, pay for that. So I marked that with the Zoom sticker from Wonton in a Million. And I just thought it was so cute. I really loved how I did that. Just using up the boxes, girl. So on Friday, I used a paper doll sticker to mark that Joy got her hair done. And so I used a couple boxes to mark that I washed her hair and that she got it done. And then I used a sticker from Beneva Creations to mark that I bought some stickers from Miss Meow and Bubba Bear. And so I love that sticker to mark, you know, the good angel and the bad angel. I just like think that's just how... You know, my mind works when it comes to buying these stickers. So then I use a Sticky Perks Chick-fil-A sauce sticker to mark that I, we had Chick-fil-A for dinner. And then I use a circular <laughs> box from um, Indian Ivy Inc. and a sticker from Paper Dolls to mark that I had to email USPS because they was missing a package. And this was the first of two packages that went missing. Basically, they said they were delivered to some other city and it was just a lot. My mail is like still acting up a little bit, but I'm just keeping the faith, y'all. I just reach out to USPS and they find my packages. So then on Saturday, we had open house for Nene, her daycare. We got to meet her teacher, which was the same teacher as the year before. So that worked out good. And so we just went to go see her teacher there. And then I used a doll from Oso oh Paper. It was a D-Stash doll to mark that. I pulled in a sticker from Sticky Perks to mark that we had Uber Eats. I don't remember what I got on a Saturday because usually I get Uber Eats like during the week. I don't remember what I got, but obviously I got something because I marked it. And then I marked that I finished High School Musical with a sticker from The Sticker Party and a sticker from sticky perks to just jazz up within that box and then i used a doll from who is that stick with the plan co and some balloons from i don't know is that rose and tea shop i can't remember and a happy birthday sticker from <laughs> designing san diego to mark that it was my mom's birthday i pulled in a wonton and a million sticker to mark that my niece spent the night and then I used a Marge goodies sticker with a film script from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that I filmed. On Sunday, I used a Hello August sticker from Designing San Diego and some deco from Paper Dolls to mark Hello August, the first day of August. And then I used a D-Stash sticker from Kinsey Creations and to mark that I D-Stash. I, I still have some D-Stash that I need to get through. I haven't reached out to everybody who asked for it, but um, I'm getting there. I've just been doing too much. And then I use some cute scallop circles. I believe they're from Rose and Tea Shop with a bathtub from 
Miss Meow to mark that the kids had a bath. And so I just thought that this spread came out really cute. Here I am just decorating it up, filling in those empty spaces because, you know, so, like I don't like clutter, but I don't like just emptiness, if you know what I mean. So anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I thought this spread came out really cute. Let me know down below if you picked up this kit and have you used it yet. Are you hoarding it? Do you need to go pick it up now? Um. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified on the next planner video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.